I have a very close friend that didn't make it today. At least four killed in a mass shooting inside a Louisville, Kentucky bank. New information on the victims and the shooter who police believe was a former bank employee. A fixture for Southern Cooking in Chapel Hill is up for sale. Hear from the daughter of Mama Dip about what's next for the restaurant after nearly 50 years on Rosemary Street. Then you could soon be paying more per year for your hybrid or electric vehicle. We'll tell you how much and how it could even impact your Uber rides. Bring in your plants and pets. Who's under a frost advisory tonight and new data on the warm up on the way. We have breaking news in the last 30 minutes. Police have released several key details about what happened before and after someone shot and killed four people in Louisville, Kentucky today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan and I'm Chris Lovingood. Authorities say the suspected shooter was 23 year old. We've got Connor Sturgeon as his name, a man who worked at the bank. Investigators say the suspect died after they exchanged gunfire with him, but it's unclear if officers were the ones to shoot him or if he was shooting himself. Also new, police say the man used a rifle for the attack. Mark Boyle is in the WRL Live Center. Mark, we're also learning more about the victims in this shooting. New information coming in every 10 to 15 minutes on this. We're getting some live feeds coming in of what the scene looks like, and local and state leaders there in Kentucky continue to give new information as this investigation continues. Here's that new information right now as we come on the air here at 4 o'clock. So a total of four people have been killed and identified at this point. The gunman has been identified identified as a 23 year old bank employee. Chris just mentioned that and a total of nine patients taken to the hospital, many still being treated at this point and the motive is still under investigation. Dan Sheneman now with the very latest from Louisville. 838 AM active shooter at a bank in downtown Louisville. This was terrifying. It was terrifying. Three minutes after the call, officers were on the scene. The suspect shot at officers. We then returned fire and stopped that threat. The suspect is deceased. Also dead, four victims, at least nine others injured. Two officers among the casualties. Police say their quick action likely saved lives. And I want to thank them and all our other law enforcement officers for responding and doing their best to try to save some of my friends. I have a very close friend that didn't make it today. And I have another close friend who didn't either, and one who's at the hospital that I hope is, is going to make it through. Federal authorities say this is being investigated as workplace violence. The suspect has been identified as Connor Sturgeon, white male, 23 years of age, who was employed at O National Bank. His weapon of choice was a rifle. While police search for answers, our community will continue to come together. We will find ways to love and support one another and the families and friends who have been directly impacted by these acts of gun violence. A call for unity in a time of grief. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. Well, it is going to be another chilly morning when we all wake up. All of us are under a frost advisory. Meteorologist Kat Campbell is in the WRL Severe Weather Center with how cold it will get. Kat? Temperatures could fall.